Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer Full Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. When automating with Puppeteer, you will be required to test on certain devices. Those devices width and height may will vary. Or maybe you are just doing a media query specific to certain width and height. How do you handle such use cases? That's what you are going to learn today. By We can set that by using set viewport and set user agent. We are going to learn that in practical. Let's get started. If you have missed out on the first 12 parts, I'll request you to kindly go through them so that you have continuity in your learning and you master Puppeteer with me end to end. Today we are learning about setting viewport and setting the user agent. So today we'll learn two, two new methods, which is set uh, user agent and set viewport. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to create a new file, call it episode 13.js. And first thing we do when working with Puppeteer is to import it. I'm going to write a async function and say simulate mobile device. All right, so now what we are doing here is we just first, as always, we will need a new instance of browser new in create a new page and say await browser dot new page then we are going to say <coughs> await page dot set view so let's set the user agent and then we are going to mention the <coughs> osx 10 and you can mention everything that you want in this particular details <coughs> So here I have set the set user agent Mozilla and I'm saying I for iPhone, I'm trying to replicate it. Similarly, we'll mention page dot set viewport, viewport and then mention the width and height of what we want to test. The standard height of an iPhone is width is 375 and height is 812. So we have set the user agent and set viewport now let's write page dot go to and let's go to yahoo.com right and then finally we will close our browser that's it nothing complicated simple but what i want you to know and understand is that this will now test this particular url in this particular view mode i'll show you that by keeping this option open and I'll make it false. Now let's run this application. Simulate mobile devices. Device. All right. And to run, you will write node episode 13.js run. So you can see Chromium is opening up. Notice here it would set. See the device mode it has set the viewport was 375 and 812. Right. Similarly, if you are, let's say, doing it for 1440 by say, 1200, right? This is fine. Now, you, if you run it, you can change the width. Now, see, it has taken the bigger width, right? So, we can customize the height and width and explicitly mention what uh, resolution we want to run our automation on. It would open that URL in that dimensions. Right. Extremely important use case because uh, a lot of times when we are doing it in real time, you will need this uh, two methods that you will set quite a lot often, especially when you're working with different different devices. In the next episode, I'm going to show you the different devices that are available and then show you how to take screenshot and PDF and all that. So join me in there and we'll continue our learning. I hope you're learning. I hope you're enjoying. Please join me in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining in this episode.